meditation day by day, seeking peace to find my way. But more so, I hope this path would pave the way to riches, the life I craved. I really believe that meditation could make me more money. And looking back at it, it's quite funny. Four years went by in this routine, yet temporary calm is all I've seen. Breathing still or watching my mind, yet lasting peace I could not find. Being at peace, not just this meditation doing, is the profound shift I am pursuing. If you meditate, please look at what it gives you. Does it give what you pursue? Or will you one day regret if you only knew what was really true about this meditation to do? This is me four years ago, meditating five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day. Before you meditate one more minute, before you include meditation in one more morning routine, then please understand the truth about meditation. So you do not waste the rest of your time meditating in ignorance like me. It is truth that liberates not your efforts to be free. It's a quote from Jiddu Krishnamurti. And I wasted lots of my effort on meditating. I had to learn the truth that nobody tells you the hard way. So may you realize it for yourself without the scars. So I was taught to see meditation as one of my to-dos. You know, those things that you tick off your to-do list every day. I was reading lots of books. I watched many YouTube videos and I listened to all the podcasts about self-improvement. And meditation was just one of those things that I should include in my morning or evening routine. Everyone told me it was written everywhere. So I did, and I sincerely believed it helped me. After all, all the millionaires were doing it and I wanted to be rich. So if I mimic the people that I want to become and mimic what they do, then I would have a higher chance of getting what they have, right? That's what I thought. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old. Did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people. And I started making videos on YouTube in 2012. I share this because you have been conditioned to care about numbers and appearance but it is effectiveness over appearance that matters. And was my meditation effective? Well, to answer that question, I first have to look at the reason why I did it in the first place, what I wanted to get out of it. And at first, I believed it would help me become more wealthy. That's what I wanted. I really believed that through meditation, I would become a better person and that that person would have a higher chance to become wealthy. If you believe this, please think about it. Please look at it. Please look at these thoughts, because I wish I would have done that back then, when I started four years ago, or maybe even earlier, I don't remember. Look at your results so far. I mean the results you think come from meditation. This is what I understood too late. I did not look at the results I got from meditating. What were the results, you may ask? Well, for me, it was not more money. It was not more success, however I defined that back then. At most, if any, a bit of calm during those minutes that I meditated. This is what I got. A few minutes, at best, of quiet, of peace. Now don't believe my results to be the same for you, because that would be belief, don't believe. Not because I say so. Just think about what happens when you believe someone or something. You will never know if it is true. Therefore, if you now believe me, if I say, well, you can start to build your house on, on this, and it is sand, but I tell you it's concrete, and now you believe me. Well, one day your house will collapse because it was built on sand. So to avoid a major collapse in your life, look at your beliefs and finding them is usually hard. And meditation was one of those beliefs for me. I just believed it was good for me. I believed it helped me. I believed that it helped me improve. And maybe some of those things were actually true. But when I really looked into it, when I really did, most of the things were beliefs and the things that were true were not a net positive. Therefore, meditation for me is a waste of time. But there is a but, which I will come to later in this video. So again, don't believe my results to be the same for you. Just look at your own results. What do they tell you? Did meditation make you more money? If so, keep doing it. If meditation give you more peace from whenever you did it until you go to bed, keep doing it. Or even just those 15 minutes of meditation give you peace during those minutes and that's okay with you keep doing it that's why i say don't believe me don't stop meditating now if i see it as a waste of time by the way i will go in depth about it later in this video so what i'm trying to say is don't have that shallow understanding or no understanding at all just a shallow belief oh well, i do everything to improve myself i will include all the habits to improve myself because that's what i did and if only i look deeply into the things I did, 
and the things I got from them. Then I would have understood back then and stopped doing a lot of things. And I think back then I really believed meditation helped me in the beginning, helped me make me more money. Which is, it's, it's laughable when I think back about that belief. I never questioned it, but somehow I thought meditation would make me more money. And I think that belief really came from because I just heard and read so many times that the millionaires of this world and the successful people all meditate, or most of them. And I think, very honestly, I was also desperate to make money. So I believed anything that I could find that would help me reach that goal. So obviously, when I heard that meditation is one of these success habits, of course I was convinced. But understand this, hope is a prison, invisible to the hoper. It led to so much wasted time, precious time, I never get back. And now your mind may say, well, Jordan, I don't see meditation as a waste of time. When I do it, I feel calm, I feel peaceful, I want to keep doing it. This is well worth my time. And to that I would say, well, you're absolutely right about your feeling. I'm not here to convince you to stop meditating. If the result you get from it is good enough for you, well, then that is the truth for you. But I don't want a few minutes of peace per day. I want to be completely free from anything that is not peace. I want to control my mind so it no longer runs free like a jaguar without permission. And when you look at the meditation of 99% of people, it only provides a quiet mind during that practice, if at all. I assume you have meditated and how difficult it can be to get into that quiet state and to stay there, right? And I mean, just look at your own life. After you finish meditating, those negative thoughts, negative feelings such, such as stress, anxiety, fear, irritation, whatever it is, they come back today. Just like medicine, it only provides a temporary escape because that's what it really is, right? Just a temporary escape. That's what it became more to me, at least, later on. So I started doing it because I thought it would help me make me more money, help me improve. Later on, it became more of a, uh, well, of a, a moment of peace and also an escape when I felt stressful, which tend to happen more often when I got older and grew a larger company with more people, etc., etc. So if I was really serious, wouldn't I be looking for a permanent solution, not a temporary escape? Let me be honest with you, I was unserious for a very long time, but I believed to be serious. I just did my hour-long morning routine because of hope and false beliefs. I just ticked the 10 minutes per day of meditation off my to-do list, and the more habits, the better. So let me ask you this, are you looking to appear successful, not even to others, but to yourself? With all this meditation, morning routine, and notion habit tracker stuff, are you looking to appear successful or are you really serious about finding out what you want and actually getting it? If it's not the latter, then please stop watching here. I have no interest in talking to unserious people. So to the serious people who are still here, I have a question. Can you experience a quiet mind 24 seven without doing meditation, but instead by becoming meditation, by being in meditation all the time? Could it be that you can experience this peace that you can feel during meditation, but not for just those few minutes, but throughout the whole day, this constant sense of calm without leaving it. What if this is possible? Because that's the thing, right? You don't think it is possible. I hope you do, but many don't. After all, who in your life have done that? Just know that if these thoughts come up, they're not yours, they're your mind. So. Let's see it for what it is. And we don't want to listen to that mind, right? It's the same voice who tells you to watch Netflix and eat popcorn. So what if meditation is not something you do, but a state you allow yourself to be in all the time, where it doesn't take effort? That's what I'm trying to say. So instead of doing it, instead of sitting down like this, or whatever you do, it comes to you without effort, after time, after realizing how to get into that state, where you basically let go of time, memory, and thought, instead of watching your thoughts and looking at your breathing, that it is not a practice, but a understanding, a constant experience. These are the deeper questions I feel to ask about meditation for all those years. And looking back, I did waste four years on meditation because of my shallow understanding. And it is this very shallow understanding that you may see for yourself. For when you do, and when you decide to instead find ultimate peace, you will find it. Greatest need always succeeds. That's it, the truth about meditation for me. And once again, don't believe me, question yourself. And if you try to find the truth in a specific situation in your own life, but can't really seem to find it, 
that you can always send me an email or a DM. I don't ask you for money, but I only respond to serious people. And if you want to hear seven other truths that I found out too late in my life, you may watch this video next. Talk soon.